Military aid set to top agenda as Western allies meet. Zelensky advisor resigns. Ukraine's calls for more military aid, including advanced Western air defense systems and tanks, are likely to dominate the agenda as top U.S. officials and allies meet in Europe this week. NATO defense chiefs are gathering in Brussels on Wednesday. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin will join members of the Ukraine Contact Group, a body of about 50 nations that meets to discuss Kiev's needs on Thursday. Some allies are pushing for more sophisticated weapons to be provided to help the Ukrainian military fight back against Russian forces in the south and east and prepare for a possible spring. Offensive by Moscow. Key developments. An advisor to President Volodymyr Zelensky resigned after suggesting that Ukrainian air defense systems may have been responsible for the deadly damage in the nuclear to an apartment building, which was mostly destroyed Saturday as Russian missiles rained down across Ukraine. The advisor, Alexei Arestovich, later distanced himself from the suggestion, but it was used by the Kremlin to cast doubt on who was to blame. Arestovich apologized on Ukrainian television and said in a letter announcing his resignation that he had made a fundamental error. Authorities do not expect to find any more survivors in the region. At least 40 people are dead, including three children, the State Emergency Service of Ukraine reported Tuesday morning, and 25 are missing. Britain's defense ministry said it is highly likely that a Russian bomber hit the Dnipro building with an AS-4 kitchen anti-ship missile adding that the missile is notoriously inaccurate in urban settings. Ukrainian officials accused Russia earlier this week of using the same type of missile, also known as a KH-22, but said that it came from Russia's Kursk region. On Monday, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that Russia does not strike residential buildings and suggested that Ukraine's air defenses may have been responsible, echoing the rest of its claim. Ukraine's army is retaining its positions in Soldar, an army official told the Washington Post. Following claims by pro-Russian forces that the small salt mining town in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region had been captured Tuesday. Our positions remain, Ukrainian army spokesman Sergei Cherevity said. Soldar has been the scene of a bloodbath, its regional governor said last week, as Russian forces attempt to capture the town which is a gateway to the contested city of Bakhmut. Battleground updates. Russian forces made additional territorial gains north of the frontline city of Bakhmut and may be intensifying attacks south of Bakhmut near Kishchivka. Analysts at the Institute for the Study of War Think Tank said in their latest battleground update, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu visited the headquarters of the Vostok Group, a battalion that has been fighting in eastern Ukraine. The Russian Defense Ministry said in a telegram post Tuesday. The ministry said he received an update from Lieutenant General Rustin Muradov, commander of the Eastern Military District, which covers troops based in Russia's Far East, many of whom are deployed in Ukraine. Arms manufacturer Rainmetal said German tanks requested by Ukraine wouldn't be battle ready until 2024. Even if the decision to send our Leopard tanks to Kiev came tomorrow, the delivery would take until the start of next year. Rainmetal's chief executive, Armin Papperger, told Germany's Bild am Sonntag newspaper. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has not committed to sending the tanks. A joint military exercise involving Russia and Belarus kicked off Monday, the Belarusian Defense Ministry said. It is expected to last until February 1st. The ministry said aviation units of Belarus's armed forces would work with Russian forces to improve interoperability in the joint execution of training camp. Combat missions. Vyacheslav Chos, the regional governor of Chernia, near Ukraine's border with Belarus and Russia, said in a telegram post that the number of air alarms on the territory of Chernia Oblast and the country in general may increase significantly while the drills are underway. 